Hi guys, welcome back. This is part two of our last video regarding the roast uh, roast store versus column store. So as I said in earlier video, column store index is a new type of index which is added uh, from SQL Server 2012. So when it was added, that time it was added just to uh, give the performance for the OLAP tables. It was added for the OLAP processing, right? So you know uh, we will have a lot of tables which are there to query the lot of data. Those are the denormalized table where we will have all the column in denormalized fashion. We use that table and we get the result, right? But you know as those kind of table as those kind of warehouse table get incrementally added day by day by day but it's required to uh, have the some kind of a good mechanism a good index mechanism so that we can get the data we can retrieve the data in a very fast manner right so sometime what happen we may create a lot of good indexes lot of uh, non cluster we will include all the missing script missing indexes everything we will try each and everything but but there is limitation that we can't go beyond that our performance is not going beyond that we are trying a lot of things but our performance of the table of performance of queries are not working correctly so at that time we need to go for our the a new kind of structure new kind of architecture we need to redesign our table structure we need to redesign the main architecture of the queries and everything right so this is the very important feature which were added in, in sql server 2012 for the warehouse processing for the olaf processing i can say and that is the column store index as name itself suggests that it's the index it stores something it store what it store the data in a column format so this is a column store index which will store the column wise data right great so in column store index there are two type of index one is non cluster column store index column store index which were added in sql server 2012 but there is a limitation when it was added actually the limitation was that you can add as many as column you want but there are some restriction of the data types also but once you have created the non cluster column store index on any table you can't update that table that table will become read only so if you want to make that table updatable you need to first drop the index and then you need to recreate after doing some that dml operation or you need to disable the index right okay so this is the limitation with the non cluster column store index and also there were the uh, things which we'll talk uh, further when we'll be going through the cluster index okay so second type is a cluster index so as i said earlier SQL Server 2012 has only non-cluster column store index. So people have requested and Microsoft introduce a new kind of column store index and that is a clustered clustered column store index which was added in SQL Server 2014 to overcome the drawback of the non-cluster column store index. It's the update table. it's a read only in the next video we will talk about the benefit of this two and the structure of this two indexes thanks for watching have a